Among the strongest in the entire series, the gods of destruction are deities who destroy races, threats, or even entire planets that put their own universes at risk. Along with the Kais, their duty is to oversee their respective universe, with each of the 12 universes having a destroyer. The gods of destruction are feared worldwide, even by other gods. Although each god has the same authority and standard powers, their individual power and abilities can differ. Each of the gods of destruction are accompanied by an angel, whose duty is to guide and teach them how to use their powers and work as a personal attendance. All gods possess the power of destruction. This power allows an individual to wipe out anyone and anything from existence. Contrary to what it seems, the gods of destruction aren't inherently evil, though some choose to be. Instead, select gods of destruction choose to use their powers for justice in their universe and destroy planets they consider evil. Though they are typically fearless of other gods and mortals, the gods of destruction show great respect to both Zeno and future Zeno, as well as the Grand Minister who serves as an attendant for the two. Their greatest weakness is the lifelink they hold with the Supreme Kais of their universe. Basically, if their universe's Supreme Kai dies, so do they. They also have a set of limits of things they can't do. They are not allowed to travel through time and are prohibited from fighting each other, unless requested or done in a safe area. If any of these rules are violated, Zeno, one of the kings of the 12 universes, will remove or erase them from their position. For more information about the Gods of Destruction, check out Dragon Ball Wiki on Fandom.